to another episode of Coffee on Couch Face. Uh, we are here again with uh, Chris Anderson from the mobile engineering team, and we're going to talk about uh, Sync Gateway. Uh, this is continuing from our first conversation from the Sync Gateway series, where we uh, dived into channels, uh, particularly on how uh, that feature of Sync Gateway allows you to do data orchestration. And today we're going to go in a bit further and see how all of this uh, component is able to provide us a letter level for, for security for our end users. So without further ado, I want to introduce you uh, to you, Jay Chris. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us again. So last time we introduced channels as a unit for sync and discussed how they can power reliable sync and reconnection uh, and efficiently sending data to mobile devices or the web browser. So today we'll extend that concept of channels from just uh, user preference about what that edge device is interested in and talk about how the cloud itself can enforce security as far as which channels a user is allowed to see. So I'll go ahead and bring up this admin console and you'll see and we've got three channels on the screen, Java, HTML, and Android based on the Stack Overflow questions that we imported from their API in the last screencast. So the administrator, as we saw last time, can specify whatever channel they'd like to see. Here we're asking for the HT, for the Android channel. I could change that to HTML and we get a different result set. This is all happening on the administrator port, which is secured behind the firewall. Now, on the public port, which end users connect to, we have an end user whose, prep, whose privileges only allow them to see the Android channel. And when we go and request a channel that's not the Android channel, we'll see we get an empty setback. So this last record here is not data, it's metadata that powers synchronization, and we can ignore it. But if we do go and request the Android channel, we see we get the same questions that are tagged Android, just as we saw here, these three in the result set come up here. Now what's interesting about enforcing those rules on the server is that the client doesn't need to specify which channels they're interested in. If I refresh this, you'll see these are those same three questions that are tagged Android. Now, what if we want the user to have a different set of access? Well, the easiest way to do that is to use this administrator API and actually update the user record with this JSON to give the guest user who we're connecting as for this screencast access to a different set of channels. So I'll change from Android to HTML and send that result that request into Sync Gateway and refresh our result here and we'll see a different set of questions that correspond to the documents tagged HTML. This allows you as the administrator of an application to say what channels a user is allowed to see and control read access to your data. You can get more interesting than that. We'll talk in the next screencast about how you can have this set of permissions controlled dynamically by data that's flowing into the application via the sync function. So it doesn't have to be done by external scripts. It can actually be managed automatically by Sync Gateway itself. But for now, let's go ahead and grant this user access to both HTML and Android channels and refresh that and see that the result set expands to include the documents that are in both those channels. As we mentioned last time, this order is global across the entire database so that reconnects are always efficient and pull down just the new data. Now, you may wonder, how do I give the user, the guest user, or whichever user I may be modifying, access to all the channels? Well, we've got a special channel name called star. And if I use that and I refresh this request, we get everything. So that is the basic gist of the channel security model where users have access to a set of channels and all the documents that are in those channels. There's a lot more power to it than that. And in a future screencast, we'll talk about how you can grant access dynamically, but also how channel access can be controlled by roles. And um, there's other ways to have more fine-grained control and broader control over what users see when they interact with your application. That's really cool, Chris. I'd love to uh, hear more about how the sync function provides the logic here, business logic here, for us to bring in the data accordingly. And yeah, the, the administration uh, component there is definitely useful. I don't want to write a whole bunch of different channel names, right? So providing that parameter gives me 
uh, the ability to see everything in the database. Thanks, Chris. I'm looking forward for the, our next uh, episode on Coffee and Couchbase uh, with uh, Sync Gateway.